Hello and welcome to my workshop. This video has come about through many many people um, inquiring about the fourth axis on CNC machines in general and in particular the fourth axis with servo drive motors CNC router. This is a 6012 fully opted um, with servo motors uh, extended Z axes and Z, Z travel coolant system um, and of course the fourth axis with servo drives. It also has a 2.2 kilowatt spindle and also the additional dust extraction unit. Um, so this particular model is fully opted. So fourth axes there's no great mystery to fourth axes work. So I will show you how to set the fourth axes up on this 6012 um, with servo drive and um, show you how to connect it and show you how to dial it in with Mac 3. First of all I want to show you the standard stepper motor for the small model. CNC's. This is a 6012 model. The 6090 model is identical other than it has a shorter working bed. Now then, this is a very large and heavy stepper motor with a very very decent drive shaft. So even the standard machines are very very heavily specified. In fact, these are the same size uh, stepper motors that uh, the majority of manufacturers of the full size tables being um, 2.5 meters long and 1.3 meters wide. These are the ones in the full size professional machines. So that's the standard stepper motor. And this is the standard fourth axis plug that you would normally find on a machine from another manufacturer. Um, it's fairly standardized. One cable. Now because this machine is specified with servo motors it has two plugs, two cables. This is a very similar plug to the one on this one, very similar, and it plugs in to the side of the machine down here. I'll actually show that again because I think it's off camera. Plugs in down here. Just tuck the cable underneath is fine. Now the second cable plugs in to the fourth, fourth axis driver in the side panel of the machine. So I'll just show you that. Okay, and this cable plugs straight in in this driver here, which is the A axis driver. I'll just pop straight in there. Simple as that. So when you're plugging anything into your machine, especially the drivers, uh, and this is the A axis driver here, and this is where that plug plugs in into the, the bottom of it. Just make sure that your machine is turned off. The only thing it is running is the Mac 3 card because it's connected to the computer. And the computer's up. So those are the First two plug. plugs. There's in the side panel, so you make sure the machine's turned off. And there's the second second plug there. Okay. Okay. Okay, the setup I've got here now is I've made these these small discs. Uh, this particular one, uh, it's got a 
a 25 millimeter boss. I've just cut these out on the laser actually. And uh, this one is 110 millimeters in diameter. Um, and I've done several of them. This one's 75 millimeters. This one's 50, 120. And 140. Uh, that's pretty well the largest diameter that um, you, you're going to get in this uh, particular model. Um, this incidentally is um, 100 millimeters by 900 millimeters. Okay, uh, and it's got a uh, four-inch chuck on it. Um, now, on each one of these discs, um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just putting a little marker, just like this, just a small mark, and I've got that lined up with the DTI pointer there. So what I do then in Mark 3 um, is I set my ask Mark 3 in each axis and in this case it's the A axis to move the axis 50 millimeter okay so it actually shows 50 millimeter on the outside diameter of this disc uh, and then I record that measurement and put that measurement into Mark 3 and allow Mark 3 to alter the setting for the for the motors in Mark 3 Okay, so there's a couple of adjustments we need to make in Mark III. Um, so what we need to do, we need to set Mark III up to configure for the A axis or fourth axis. So you go to config and go down to home in and limits. And we need to set the A axis up. Um, these settings at the moment are pretty standard. Uh, in Mac 3 so we're going to that's that was okay soft minimum is is fine now the soft maximum now this isn't enough <laughs> so we're going to alter this to 400 400 millimeters of outside or diameter travel so we'll just enable that so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, come down to set steps per unit, choose A axes, OK that, and we're going to ask it to move 50 millimeters. So we press OK. Well, I could see right away that didn't move 50 millimeters. So then what you do, you get a pretty standard tape measure and measure the actual distance that it traveled. I can tell you now that is 30 millimeters. Okay, so the measured distance was 30 millimeters. So we put in here 30. Are we okay? And it is saying that uh, it's going to alter this, this the step setting in Mac 4 to 100.49, 100.5. We're going to accept that. Press OK. Then we're going to go back to program run. I want to turn our marker back. Okay, so now we've got our marker lined up, we go through the same process again. Um, we're going to have to do this a couple of times because, uh, you know, I'm just actually measuring it with just a, a tape measure, as you've seen. Uh, and, you know, you've got to do it a couple of times to get it really accurate. So, here we go, second time. Okay, this time uh, we should be able to get it smack on because that was just showing me that it moved 49 millimeters 49 so i think we can there we go so 
102.5 precisely and we'll check it one more time it's okay and check it That is exactly 50 millimeters. So we can say 50, okay, okay, job done. And it's just really as simple as that. Now that is set for a diameter of 100 millimeters. Now, and it's th this is the easiest way to actually set a fourth axis up. Um, and it is the general diameter that I would use in a fourth axis. If you wanted to change the diameter, it's a simple affair to make a disc closely to the size that you uh, would require the diameter of your material simply made it's just something a boss for the um, for the it's a boss for the chuck to hang on to fairly accurate and um, a known diameter uh, and in this case it's uh, 140 millimeters diameter which is about the largest it might do 150 mil diameter um, but I, I regard 140 enough uh, and it goes through the same process and is very easily very very easily done So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making sure that it will actually go the full 400 millimeters, which it uh, actually is doing. So one full revolution is approximately 300 millimeters. Coming up to 400, there you go. So it's yeah, one and a third. So that's um, pretty right, and it's actually showing me on my hand controller that it is in fact it is in fact uh, it's just actually showing me on my hand controller as well that it is in fact operating to within a, a less than a thousandth of an inch so I'm very happy about that and we'll turn it back So I hope you enjoyed the video today on setting up uh, a fourth axis with servo drives, 2 Mac 3, uh, and this being a 6012 CNC router. Um, if you have, please press subscribe, press like, and uh, please visit one of my other videos. Um, I'm sure that you'll find something interesting there for you. So until next time, it's bye for now. Well, by the way, we will be uh, actually setting up to machine a fourth axis project. I uh, just couldn't get it into this video. So bye for now.